2021, April 26. Just finished testing each of these actuators individually uh, and have tested all of them assembled except for this joint moving so like so. Um, now let's, let's see if we can get a wide angle shot maybe. We back this up a hair more. Can we, yeah, you can even see my screen there. And the reason I want to show my screen is then you can see the commands I'm typing. So this is a serial window. This is open in Arduino. The firmware is Arduino style. Let's move 10 on X. Let's move 10 on Y. Uh, oh, right. Uh, because my default firmware's uh, feed rate is too high. Z10. Yep. U10. Uh-huh. V10. Well, there we go. We got all six of them moving. So we could say, uh, say X. My maximum feed rate right now is five degrees per second. It's not great. Um, and that's because of the enormous stepper uh, gearbox ratio to get the power. So I guess the next thing is to find someone who, who really knows what they're doing, who can help me take it to the next level. M114, this is why I was 20, so. Z, uh, Z180 would be too much. We're currently at Z45, Z135. Uh, uh, and well, we'll start there. Close call. That Z limit should be 135 degrees in each direction, maybe less. I'm much more comfortable with that. Uh, that'd be, uh, I'm trying to do U now. It's currently at minus 45 and I want another 60, so it's minus 105. X is currently 45, and I want to turn it 180 degrees negative. So that's 45 plus 90 plus 45. So that's negative 135. Yeah, yeah, isn't that always fun when you have outside cables? Inside cables? That's not an issue. We're still going, we're still going. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna move you a little bit closer because that's more fun.
Z110, uh, Y20. Now that one is extremely loud because this was the very first gearbox that I got. And it has a 3D printed pulley that is a poor fit. And the belt makes noise on that pulley. Uh, actually, it would be right behind here. Um, in case you're wondering, how hot is this thing getting? The answer is, the answer is it is a little bit warm in the back of the bicep. And other than that, it seems fine. So now let's go G0, uh, X0, Y0, Z0, W0, U0, V0. Went a little bit too far on that one. That looks better. We're mostly back to home position now. I'm very satisfied with that. So with that, I can now start working on, you know, each individual actuator can be in, combined into, separately, can be replaced easily, can be mixed and matched. Um, I have to test, can I actually hold my uh, payload on here? So I need to, put some mass on here. I also want to put a camera and film this same shot, but from there and see how smooth it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So in many ways, this is a win and I'm very pleased. And I hope you are too. Let me know what you think and share with your friends because it would mean a lot to me to, uh, I hope it means something to them too. Yeah, my name is Dan, this is Marginally Clever. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting me and um, and, and all the other robot makers out there, um, encouraging me and inspiring me every day. See you next time.